Today, we're going to be focusing on modeling specific details. And the one I'm going to be working on now is a raised scoop. So let's go ahead and get rid of this cube and create a plane. I'll jump into edit mode and subdivide this. And I'll give it a about five number of cuts. And let's go ahead and select the faces that we have here. And let's extrude that up like so. And then I'll just select the vertices that we have behind here. And I'm gonna join to the one below. So I'm gonna say at last. Let's try that again, at last. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the rest of these, like so. And then let's just go to our orthographic view and let's start to nudge these verts into place. just like this all right so once i've gone ahead and done that i'm just going to select the edges that we have here so just this row of edges and this one as well and then i'm going to push that inward like so and then i'm going to select the edges that we have here inside and i'm also going to scale that inward just so that we have evenly spaced polygons all right so once I've gone ahead and done that, I'm just going to work on one quadrant. So I'm going to remove the faces that we have on this side because it can be mirrored. And I will then go ahead and remove the faces in the front as well here. Let's get rid of that as well as these faces here. All right, so now we have to redirect our edge flow. So I'm going to connect this vertice with this. And then I'm going to get rid of this, these two edges that we have here. All right. So now let's jump back into solid mode and let's mirror this on the X axis. And I'm also going to give this a subdivision surface modifier. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's take a look here. All right. So now I'm going to start to add control loops. So I'm going to add one control loop right about here. And I'm also going to change our mat cap. So I like this one. So I'm going to go ahead with this one. And let's add one edge loop at the bottom here. Let's just get out of subdivision mode for a second. Let's just add a loop here so that we have this triangle then turns into a quad. And now it's easier for us to add that edge loop. So I'll add an edge loop here and one going around here as well. And for the one I add here, I'm just going to tweak it a little bit. So let's take this edge and perhaps we'll push it off here on the x-axis. And then I'm going to activate our snapping tool. And I'm going to say snap to vertex. And I'll just snap these words that we just created here, like so. And this one, I'm going to move on the surface like thereabouts and then i'm going to do the same thing and snap these on the y-axis just like that let's try that again and with the last one and there we go all right so once that is done we now need to add some more control loops so i'm going to add one more right about here but let's make sure that we turn off our snapping tool and now let's just test and see what we have here all right so i'm happy with the way this one is looking and let's go ahead and add a control loop here as well so this is starting to look pretty good so let's shade smooth and now what i'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the edges that we have here. I mean, the faces that we have here. We don't need these, all right? And I'm going to add loops in here, like so. And I'm going to add one, maybe about here as well. And then let's go ahead and select these new loops that we created. So this one this one 
these and this one. All right. So let's go ahead now and bevel these. And I'm going to bevel it till I roughly get a square. All right. So I'm just going to take this loop off. We don't want this one. So I'm going to select this, this, and I mean, this one. Let's do that again. All right. There we go. Sorry, got confused there a bit. All right. So I'm going to bevel that and I'll just say by a value of 0 0.05 so that we have, you know, almost squares here. Because now we, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to punch holes into this. All right. So I'm going to show you how to do one and I'll just go ahead and speed through the rest of it. So what I'm going to do now is I'll connect these together like so. And I'm going to do that for everything that we have here, but I'll speed through the rest of them. Once I split those in half, I'm going to then go ahead and cut a loop right in the middle. And I'm going to connect all these together like so. And then I'll go ahead and continue this off till we meet this other side. And I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Now what we're going to do is we're also going to add a loop running horizontally. Right, so let's cut horizontally from here to there, and then do the same thing for the ones that we have here. So, once I've done that, now I'm going to select the vert right in the middle here, right in the middle there, and now I'm going to bevel the vertex. So I'm going to make sure that we don't have any faces coinciding with the edges that we have there. So that looks good to me. And now I'm going to insert this once and then a second time. And then I'm just going to delete the face that we have in the middle. So once that is done, I'm then going to go ahead and select these faces that we. So Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and add another detail to the scoop that we have here. All right. So first and foremost, I'm going to change the topology a little bit, because as you can see, we don't have a nice smooth curve. If we try and examine it, we can see that we get some ridging because of those control loops that we had. So I'm going to try and get rid of those. So what I'm going to do is I'll connect these together. Connect this together again. And I'm just going to repeat the same process across these. All right. What we are trying to do is eliminate that ridging. Because we have these loops running parallel to the loop that we have in the middle, these are behaving like control loops and they're causing this ridging. I'm not sure that you can actually see that. So let's switch to this reflective material. And now we will see that we actually do have some ridging. It's much more clear here. We have some ridging going on here. And I'll just change back to this. And now that we've done this, we can just go ahead and eliminate this loop. And we can do the same for this one as well. Let's delete the loop in the middle of this triangle that we have here so that we create a quad. And let's do that for this one as well. And let's just continue that process till we complete this. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and turn our subdivision surface modifier on. And you'll see that we've resolved that problem that we had there initially. All right. So one last thing I'm going to do is, all right, so before we move on any further, I'm going to select this and I'm going to add a solidify modifier. And let's go ahead and give it a value of, so in the thickness, 
column, I'm going to give it a value of 0 0.015. So, or maybe let's push that to 0 0.2, 0 0.02, I mean, something a little bit thicker. And then I'm going to apply this. Let's go ahead and apply that. And we are going to add a control loop here. So add that loop there in the middle and then just bevel it. Let's just turn our subdivision surface modifier off so our performance is much better. And so yeah, let's go ahead and do that for these holes that we cut in. So I'm just going to go ahead and add loops all the way inside. And then let's select those loops that we now inserted there. And let's bevel that. So now you can see that we have nice edges that are going to catch the highlight. So another thing I'm going to do is select the faces that we have around that hole like so. And I'm just going to extrude that ever so slightly so that we get something interesting like this. All right, so now let's go ahead and select the faces that we have in the middle. So right now we're having a little bit of a problem here. And I think that's because our edge is not right in the middle. So let's go ahead and apply this mirror modifier and see what's up. All right, so I found out what the problem is. So the problem is we actually have a face right in the middle. So I'll just switch this mirror modifier on. So I never noticed this. I thought we actually had overlapping edges, but it's simply a face right in the middle here. So I'll select this and select this one right here, select this one and the one right here, and then the last row right there. Let's get rid of that. So now when we you know, turn our mirror modifier back on, everything's okay. All right, so now that we've gotten all of this out of the way, we're going to add our last detail. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select um, these two faces that we have here. And I'm going to then extrude inward, like so. But in doing so, what's going to happen is it's again going to create a face right in the middle. Let's turn the subdivision surface modifier off so that we can see what's happening. And then let's go ahead now and turn our mirror back on. And yep. So let's now go ahead and connect these two verts together. So I'm going to take this vertice at the bottom and I'm going to connect it to the one on the top. So at last, and then again, merge at last. And I'm just going to repeat that with this one here. All right, so once that is done, let's then go ahead and tweak this new little detail that we've created. So I'm just going to say, you know, move on the surface. And let's just look at this. All right, so we're going to have to add some more detail to this. I mean, some more loops to this. So let's add a loop right in the middle. And let's bevel that like so. Now let's see our result, all right? That's much better. So now we end up with, I think we have an end gun here. So I'm going to connect this point to the middle, the edge in the middle right here. And then I'm going to select this, connect it there, 
and connect it about let's just scroll in so that we can see better and connect it to the edge right here and let's get rid of that in the middle and add a loop here so that we now end up with a quad right here so this is all quads i've not left it as a triangle so now when we look at this detail it looks a lot better so let's go ahead and take a closer look at this so we are getting some amount of pinching right here so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of that edge that i created in the middle because that's just causing us problems so we are now left with a triangle here but you can see that once we subdivide it it isn't causing all that much of a problem and so this is the desired result that i was looking for so we can now go ahead and activate that mirror modifier to look at our detail all right so that's perfect so just taking a closer look to make sure everything is a-okay And that's how you go about creating a raised scoop.